Hey, everybody. So the gentleman here on my left-hand side, his name is Waquan, J-A-Q-U-O-N, Waquan Dean. He's in the parking lot of the apartment complex that he lives in. And this is his girlfriend, and she's at home too. And this video that I'm making now is kind of like a search for him. What happened to you, man? Did you end up suing these cops? What happened? I got to know. Let me share the video with you guys. And you guys help me find Waquan Dean and tell me what happened, man. What happened? We really want to know your story. So you got an idea on you, sir? I'm sitting there. I don't I'll need- it to you in a minute. I don't need no ID. This video has been seen more than a million times on social media. This shows an off-duty reserve officer confronting a man who refused to identify himself. Well, tonight we know who he is and what went down during that confrontation. Our Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson has more of that video and the details behind it. Steve? That video is from inside the Creekside at Meridian Hills Apartment Homes you see behind me. The officer tried to identify a man here in the parking lot. Something key here. I want you to listen to what he says here. Listen to what he says. Details behind it, Steve. That video is from inside the Creekside at Meridian Hills Apartment Homes. Inside the Creekside Meridian Hill Apartment Homes. Inside the gates. Homes you see behind me. The officer tried to identify a man here in the parking lot who did not cooperate, saying he did nothing wrong. You said you do live on the property? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, uh, which, which unit do you live in, bud? It doesn't matter. It does matter. It does absolutely can you matter. Please step back, though. In the video, you can hear Sheridan Officer James Reynolds ask Jaquan Dean to ID himself and hear Dean refuse. After going back and forth, Reynolds called for backup from Southport police officers working part time for Reynolds security. Remember, this is a Terry stop. He's just randomly stopping a guy in a car in a gated home neighborhood and Terry stopping him based on him being suspicious. But he lives there. Pretty consulting corporation. There it is, Sergeant Robert Patterson, Southport Police Department. The Southport officer identified himself before arresting Dean. <laughs> then the unexpected from Officer Reynolds. You can see him look at Dean's phone on the ground before stepping on it. Gets um, you know, all the social media um, outlets and all that. Um, and just to make it clear, the initial officer on that video does not or has never worked for Southport Police Department. Dean's charges are resisting law enforcement and refusal to identify. In Indiana, refusing to identify yourself is a Class C misdemeanor. Officers also arrested Dean's girlfriend, who actually resides in Creekside, according to police. They're at home. She's in her house. He's out in his car. They're at home for refusing to identify, resisting, and battery on a public safety official for reportedly kicking an officer. You still should just cooperate with the police. Can I just ask you? Oh my God. This is 2018. For identification, and because I don't know you, when I ask you where you live at, you can't give me an address where you I'm not live. about to tell you where I live. Eyewitness News shared this video with University of Indianapolis behavioral expert, Dr. Anita Thomas. Simply giving his ID, sharing information would have been able to stop it. Oh my God. This woman makes me want to vomit. Just give up your rights. Just give up your rights. You, when you're at home, you should have to answer to the government. When you're outside your house, right outside sitting in your car in your driveway, you should have to answer to the government. If they come to your door and you are fighting mad and kick at the cops, like they're saying what well, Quan's girlfriend or wife did, then you're bad. This woman is atrocious. She's atrocious. You're certainly looking at the police officer, the security officer, really thinking about a more sensitive way to approach him and to ask for that information. Dean is scheduled to go to court for what... Did you hear what she said? Just listen to what she says right here. Listen to what she says. Listen to what she says. You're certainly looking at the police officer, the security officer, really thinking about a more sensitive way to approach him. A more sensitive way to approach the police officer or the security officer and look how he's dressed. To ask for that information. 
to ask for that information. Dean is scheduled to go to court for what happened here at Creekside September 13th. His girlfriend is still waiting to learn her court date. On the crime beat, I'm Steve Jefferson. On the crime beat. They're on the crime beat is what he said. So, you know, like I said, this video is mainly to find out. I'll show you guys. So I looked a little bit. I couldn't find any more information. Let me share with you what I did find. So this one says that, and, and this is dated 2018. A reserve officer is out of a job in an office comp apartment complex was caught on video, shared widely on social media. And it goes on to say, black brother Malcolm Evans was working on his car in his own apartment complex when a white car. It wasn't, you know, I, I hate to say this, and and a lot of things are racist, but 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 this this is not this wasn't racism. This was uh, the cop could dominate him, and so he did. We saw the video, and so, but then it says, I mean, and it, right here it says that if you type in Wakanda's Dean name into Google, the results are staggering, page after page. He said he's not concerned with the public spotlight. But then it, he just falls off. He just falls off. I don't know what happened to Wakan. I don't know how to say his name properly. Wakwan. What's more important to worry about is what happened to this guy. Did he, did he sue this department? What about her? She got arrested. She was put in jail. How long was she in jail for? Are you going to fight back? Wakwan, did you fight back? What did you do? What happened after this? I have to know. It's driving me absolutely crazy. I saw this video and I then I did my my typical thing is which I search around and I couldn't figure out what happened to him. So I made this video just what happened to Laquan Dean? Where'd you go, dude? What's up, playboy? What's up, playboy? What happened to you, bro? You got hosed, man. You got hosed big time, man. You got hosed. And so did so did your girlfriend. Did you guys sue? It's been, and I think this is in Indianapolis. Let's check the statute of limitations real quick on that. Two to 20 years. So, hey. You got, you got, I mean, you could have 20 years. You could have 20 years to, to take that up. And I think it's, I think it's, I think it might be worth it. Waquan, what happened to Waquan Dean? What happened to Waquan Dean? That's it. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for coming. Waquan, where are you? Later, Gators.